I am in River Rouge, just southwest of Detroit, Michigan, talking to environmental groups and others about air monitoring efforts. It's about 100 degrees out here today, so I'm going to go find some shade, find some folks to talk to, and figure out what is being done on the ground to protect Detroit residents from air pollution. Detroit is known as one of the asthma capitals of the U.S. We have very high asthma rates, high asthma hospitalization rates. Detroit suffers from some of the worst air pollution in the country. People are aware. They know about the soot in the air. They know about how they feel. They know about how things smell. But what they don't know is sometimes what to do about it. Last year, Just Air set up 100 air monitors across Wayne County, where Detroit is located. We built a wonderful task force of community leaders, of experts, people who have been doing this work for a really long time, and identified where air quality monitors should go. Got in touch with that, uh, with Just Air and said, hey, could we please have Summit, in, one in Hamtramck if possible, one near this concrete facility that we're studying. One of the biggest pollutants that uh, we look for in the county um, is actually particulate matter PM2.5 and PM10. They tend to have one of the biggest, you know, impacts on human health. These particulates actually can get inside of your blood and inside of your lungs. We have identified a lot of hot spots and unfortunately and perhaps unsurprisingly, a lot of those are in very low income communities, black and brown communities. The data is empowering residents to make informed decisions about when to stay indoors and put pressure on elected officials to improve air quality.